Hello viewers, once again I welcome you to this Open Heavens Reflections on this glorious day. My name is Abiyo Ishego. I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Majestic Court of Praise in Wembley. Today our topic is Finger of Mercy. Our Bible passage is taken from John chapter 8, verse 2 to 11. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest even to the last. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Our memory verse is from Daniel 9, verse 9. To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. The story we read today continues to baffle me because of the hypocrisy of men. A woman was alleged to have been caught in the very act of adultery. Incidentally, they caught her alone in the act. That was why she was the only one that was brought to Jesus at that very early hour of the day. I wonder where the man was. Of course, they knew that the law was clear on what the woman should expect. Summary judgment and stoning was awaiting the woman. As the accusers of this woman were reeling out allegations against her, the Bible says, Jesus stooped down, started writing on the floor, as if he did not hear what they were saying. Jesus, as we know from the Open Heavens Daily Guide today, was writing with the fingers of mercy. What Jesus did was explained better through these verses of Colossians chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Of course, the law says the woman had to be stoned to death. But through the finger of mercy, Jesus took down and first blotted out the handwriting of the ordinance of death that was written against this lady and stooped down again to write a verdict of mercy and acceptance into the kingdom of grace for this poor lady. Our prayer point, there is no accusation against the one the finger of God has written mercy for. So your prayer is this, Father, let your finger write your mercy concerning me today. Father, let your finger write your mercy concerning me today. And I pray that as you pray it, the mercy of God will be available to cover whatever it is that you may be going through right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again for listening to us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.